It's been a little while since we last talked about the value of cards in these uh, baseball sims. I wanted to do a few more series, a few more talks on these things, but um, it's been a little bit tricky. It's been kind of hard to figure out sort of the right angle to take and the right thing to talk about. But I'll tell you what, I think that we have something interesting to talk about today. Many of you will know about this already. This was a couple days ago. I'm filming this a little bit after this uh, auction ended, um, but we'll just scroll down and get straight into this. So complete 1962 season Stratomatic team set, Major League Baseball, mint condition, Mickey Mantle. This ended at $7,200, ended uh, today. So this is a couple days before, you know, this is March 15th. So you know this already if you're watching it. Uh, coming from Harrison, New York, which makes sense, you know, because uh, that's kind of where Stratum, uh, not too far away from where Stratomatic starts. Now it comes from an antique store, so it probably was not ori the original owner selling this, or he may have been selling this on consignment. I don't know exactly what's happened. Item description from the seller has no information. Thank you very much. Nothing but uh, this uh, thing right here. And I guess you know, and you can look at all the other junk that I'm looking at. I guess you know from uh, looking at this here that um, the uh, uh, like people who know what this set is know already. I have um, uh, gone ahead and saved copies of these photos kind of for my own purposes. But we'll take a look at this. I just want to show this here to you because this is really a thing of beauty. Now, if you're wondering about this, I know about Stratomatic. This um, set that is in blue is a later reproduction. This set that is in blue is uh, sort of one of those greatest teams type sets. Um, uh, it looks like it's the 1962 Giants version. Um, so this has probably been put together after the fact. I'm count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 team sets. Interesting. So uh, you've got to wonder if there isn't some sort of uh, something that's been doubled up or something like that. Well, I can tell you right away we have two different copies of the 62 Mets. So there is something going on. Look at Gene Woodling's card. It looks different than Craig Anderson's card. Now, the other thing I want to see in here, it is. So you have this copy of the 62 Giants, and you have this copy of the 62 Giants. So you're looking at all 20 teams from the original 1960s set, plus um, a reprinted uh, reproduction set of the uh, 62 Giants, and then another kind of oddball 62 Mets set. I wasn't aware that Strat had reprinted the 62 Mets, but then again, I'm not um, exactly an expert on Stratomatic history. Um, just give you a little bit of an idea here of how good these cards are. I'm guessing these are the original rubber bands, so whoever won this is probably going to have a fun time like taking stuff out of the uh, box and out of the rubber bands and carefully putting these cards into their own um, individual sleeves. Um, you have to, you're taking a bet when you're buying this on how bad that rubber band staining is, but these cards have never been played with. I mean, I look at these corners and I think, man, oh man. This is the jackpot. If you hit this, $7,200, I think, is a low price to pay for this. There's uh, Jack Baldwin of the uh, Phillies, Gary Bell of the Indians, and these cards just look absolutely stellar, just amazing quality as you look through it. And um, either, whoever was taking these photos just wanted to get sort of an idea of what was going on. Of course, he knows what he's doing because he's got Mickey Mantle there on the, star, at the uh, front for the Yankees. But... Whoever was selling this, and I really do count the um, uh, uh, auction company in with this, didn't fully realize how important and how rare these cards really are, right? Because if you did, the first thing you would do is you'd take these rubber bands off and you'd put all of these in sleeves. I mean, because it's ridiculous to have these cards in rubber bands. Um, so we kind of uh, flipped through this quickly. You can see Bob Boland's card has a little bit of a bend up there at the top. That's not going to matter, though. Anybody who gets a set like this in complete condition, $7,200, like I say, is a total uh, steal. There's that weird uh, 62 Mets uh, blue set. Let me know down below, those of you who are big uh, full-time Stratomatic fans, exactly what happened, what the history is of the reprint of this stuff. I know that you guys are going to know this better than I will, so please let me know. Now, the other way I know that the seller knows what he's doing is going to come up here in a second. So yeah, you can see the two Mets sets right here. And one of the things that I'll, I'll point out to you is you can see... Um, that uh, the font changed over time, right? You can see this up here as well. And um, it changed just a little bit, but ever so slightly, but that's one of the ways you can tell this stuff apart because the original set's not quite the same um, font as the uh, later sets. Personally, I prefer the original set. I think this looks absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm guessing that there are some things missing in terms of the gameplay with the original set. Again, you, if you're a Stratomatic historian, you've got to let me know this stuff because I, I don't know this as well as I know APA. 
I'd love to know more though, so please enlighten me. And this is the other part that's important. So both of these have the bank blank backs. Blank backs mean that this is before the advanced game came out in 1971, 72, I'm sorry, 71 season. And that's the proof that you need because Strat stopped making sets with blank backs after the uh, after 1972. Um, so you know that this is an original 62 set. I mean, this is like the proof that it's an original set, right? Um, theoretically, I guess it could be some bootleg that some guy printed, but I mean, I'll clue you in on something here, you know, though there is the Chinese counterfeit world of like, you know, Magic the Gathering and all this stuff. They're not going to make this. They're not going to make bootleg copies of these cards, right? Because there's just not enough demand, right? And you're not going to get away with it that much. And getting that font right is so difficult that it's just not worth it. Because you have to know exactly what the font was and really exactly what the original printing style was. Um, the other interesting thing is that the 62 Mets set, and you can see that the cards are of a different size. They're slightly smaller also has a blank back. So I've got to ask that question, which is, was there a reprint of the 62 Mets and maybe also the 62 Giants uh, before 1972? Again, if you're a Stratomatic historian, let me know. I have a heck of a lot of questions for you if you're willing to answer them. Uh, we'll take a look at this. I mean, this isn't really that much. We can zoom in a little bit and take a look at the uh, quality of some of these cards. You're always going to see stains in older Stratomatic cards, especially from the 60s. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, these cards overall, though, I'm just looking at the corners. These cards are in just absolutely, like, miraculous shape for their age. 62 was, uh, what, six, 62 years ago, wasn't it? And, um, I, I mean, you just you never see this type of quality in the set. I'll tell you what, the Strat set I just bought that I have downstairs doesn't have this kind of quality. You look at that Mickey Mantle, <laughs> I mean, it looks beautiful. It looks like it just came out of the box, right? It just came out of the shrink wrap or whatever it was used to sell. Here's another picture of the same thing. I don't know why we have two pictures of the same thing here, but uh, whatever. Um, there's a good uh, looking photo of that uh, Whitey Ford card. And so everybody bring out your pens and pencils and uh, keep track of this. Looks like it was the four column that was the hit column. Uh, and uh, there's Yogi Berra's card. He, he had the power column was three. And... Mickey Mantle also has power in the three column. I, I don't know enough about card making a Stratomatic, though I'd like to learn, but um, I do think if you look at these, you will tell over time where the power columns are and stuff uh, before you start playing. Here, of course, Roger Maris. This is before he, uh, uh, act, I'm sorry, after setting the uh, home run record, and um, he doesn't quite have the same super power card. 33 home runs is what he got. And uh, we'll look ahead here. And yeah, we, we just have pictures here of the Yankees. You can see uh, the uh, person selling these, clearly a Yankees fan. You can count the cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, visible there. 17, 18, there's Ford and Barra, 19, 20. So you're looking at about 20 cards per team. Based on what I know about Stratomatic in this era, I think that's right. I think this is before you had extra cards. So I think it is 20 cards per team in the original set. Again, let me know. This is how it was kept in that shoe box, and um, I wonder how long it's been in there. Judging from how this is written with Sharpie, I'm guessing that this probably comes from a collector who's trying to sell, maybe trying to sell something on consignment. Like I said, that's probably what's going on here. We've gone through all the pictures. Congratulations to whoever won this auction, by the way. Um, you're probably not uh, willing to talk about who you are, but if you're watching this video, I just want to congratulate you on this. Um, I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not into investing in this stuff. I don't buy card games to invest in them. But to be honest with you, when I look at this, I think if you got this set for $7,200, you have made a very vital and very smart investment. 62, like original 1962 Strat sets are not going to start coming out of the woodwork. People don't have this stuff in their closets, all right? So like, I mean, the stuff that exists has already been found. Right. So if you won this set of cards, you stick this in individual sleeves for every card and you let it sit there for like 10 years, you might have, I mean, like a tenfold increase in your investment. I'm not even kidding. Or maybe even larger. Right. This original 62 Strat set is the oldest original Stratomatic full season set in existence. Right. We're talking about like 20 cards per team. This is the oldest of the Strat replay sets. Right. This is the equivalent of finding a full set of like Magic the Gathering Alpha. Right. That's what I'm talking about. This is like finding this is like buying a 1952 top set. Right. That's what this is like in this hobby. 
as time goes on, this set will increase in value. So if you got this for this price, you did an extra extraordinarily, exceptionally good job. I'll put it to you this way, right? You're not gonna find a 1950 season original APA baseball set with all the player cards in it. You're not gonna find that for no $7,200. I mean, it just doesn't exist, right? There's just not enough of them, right? I mean, you probably won't find it for 72,000, right? Finding this Stratomatic set and buying it for $7,200 in this condition is a great deal. It's probably worth more than that in the secondary market today if you just put them in sleeves and make them look a little bit more presentable. Um, and the cool thing is if you sleeve it up, you can still play with the cards. You know what you should do? Do a replay with these cards, get old boards, do the full replay, write about it, send me an email. I'll feature you in replay reviews and we'll have a grand old time with that. How does that sound? I'll make you a deal. Anyway, that's it for me. Sorry for talking your ear off, guys. I'll talk with you guys later and hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.